Good morning, 6A, and hello, everyone. It's Dr. Ale, and I hope you are all doing well. Let's take the simple electric circuit in the electric lamps lesson. So we have said that to turn on the light or to turn on the lamp, you need electricity. So think with me, please. If you need to turn on the lamps in your room, what is the first thing that you are going to do? You are going to go to the switch, right, to turn it on. You are going to push the switch to turn the light on. So the simple electric circuit is formed out of what? Is formed out of a source of electricity like a battery in this picture, I hope, in front of you. A wire, a connecting wire, copper wire, electric wire. This wire is connecting between the source, the electric source, the battery, to what? To the lamp or to the light bulb tub. What is the fourth component of this simple electric circuit? A switch. Okay, a switch. And we have said, what is the switch? Here in this picture, you are seeing the switch is closed. So this path is closed, right? This circuit is closed. You are seeing all the parts of the circuit are connected together. There is nothing opened. There is nothing broken. They are all connected together. So simple electric circuit means a closed path through which electric current passes. What's meant by electric current? Electricity, okay? If it's hard, you can easily substitute electric current with electricity. Yeah, let's define simple electric circuit. It's a closed path through which electric current passes, okay? Now, let's take a deeper look on the structure of the circuit or the components of the electric circuit. We have a battery, which is the source of electricity or the source of electric current. We have an electric lamp or a light bulb. We have conducting wires that conduct electricity, connecting the battery to the lamp. And we have a switch to open and close the circuit to turn on or turn off the light. Okay? Yep, let's say it one more time. A battery, electric lamp, conducting wires, and a switch. Okay? The electric circuit has two cases. It's either opened or closed. We have already taken that the components of the circuit are four components. A battery, a lamp, a wire, and a switch. So this switch is either opened or closed. If the switch is opened, this means we have an open circuit. And if the switch is closed, this means we have a closed circuit. Let's take a look on the switch on the right, the closed switch or the closed circuit. In the closed circuit, you have a closed switch. This means you have a closed path through which the electric current can pass. So that's why you can see the lamp is lighting up or it's turned on. You can see the light coming out from the lamp in the closed circuit. Why? Because it's a closed circuit in which the switch is closed. So, so you have a complete circuit. All the components of the circuit are connected together, okay? For, for the electricity can easily flow and reach the lamp to light it up. Now let's take a look on the open circuit. In the open circuit, the switch is opened. So it's making like there is a breakage in the circuit, okay? There is something missing in the middle. They are not connected together. All the four components are not connected together. Why? Because the switch is open. But this means electric current or electricity cannot passes. Oh, cannot pass, sorry. Cannot pass. But that's why the lamp is turned off. Okay? Then there is nothing or there is no electricity reaching it. So now let's take a deeper look on the difference between open circuit and closed circuit. In the open circuit, all the parts or components of electric circuit are not connected together. Yes, we have an open switch with this open switch is making something like a breakage in the circuit. It's incomplete circuit, but all the parts are not connected together or all the components are not connected together. And this means the electric current or the electricity doesn't pass. And if there is no electric current or no electricity, this means the lamp doesn't light up. So what about the closed circuit? It's exactly the opposite, okay? It's opposite in everything. 
all parts of electric circuit are connected together. Yes, they are connected together. The switch is closed and the parts or the components are connected together. So this means the electric current passes or the electricity passes and the lamp lights up as a result. Okay. Now, how can we connect the lamps in a circuit or how to connect electric bulbs in circuits? We have two ways, okay, to connect the lamps in a circuit. Either series connection or parallel connection. On the left, you can see the series connection and on the right, you can see the parallel connection. Series connection means the lamps are side by side, one after the other. They are a side by side, one after the other. All the lamps are connected in the same route or on the same wire. So what about the parallel connection? Okay, on the left, the parallel connection means that the lamps are connected in branches. Okay, every lamp has its own branch or its own route or its own wire, okay? You have a series connection or parallel connection. Series connection or parallel connection. This slide is talking about methods of connecting electric bulbs in the electric circuits. Methods means the ways or how to connect the electric bulbs in electric circuit. We have already said we have a series connection and we have a parallel connection. Series connection, light bulbs are connected one after the other in A in one route, like you are seeing in the picture. Series connection means light bulbs are connected one after the other in only one route, one route, okay? One wire and one path, one route. The parallel connection means light bulbs are connected in branching routes, branching routes, yani different routes, different wires, they are forming branches, okay? You have a series connection, light bulbs are connected in one route. Parallel connection, light bulbs are connected in branching routes, okay? In series connection, the light bulbs are connected one after the other. They are all having the same route, while the parallel, each and every lamp has its own branch and its own route, okay? In this slide, we are going to take an important note. Let's read it before we explain it. In series connection, by increasing the number of connected light bulbs, the lighting or the light intensity or the light strength decreases. What's meant by this? We have said that in series connection, the lamps are connected only in one route, only in one wire, only in one path, one route, right? They are connected one after the other, one after the other. So, because they have only one route for the electricity coming out from the source and moving in this one route, this electricity is divided by the number of lamps or the number of light bulbs. So, as this number increases, the electricity that's going to each and every lamp is decreased. That's why the light intensity or the light strength decreased, Bardo. Okay, this is something related to resistance. Resistance, you are going to take it in prep, so we are not going to go deep in it now. Okay, let's understand. And in series connection, by increasing the number of connected lamps, the lighting decreases. Why? Because it only has one route. In series connection, there is only one route for the electricity to pass. So the electricity is divided by the number of the lamps. That's why as the number increased, the lighting decreased. Okay? Type. What else? Since and there is only one route for the electric current to pass, the electric current doesn't flow by burning or by unscrewing of one bulb of the circuit. Okay? What's meant by this? We have said Bardo in a series connection has only one route for the electricity to pass. So what if one lamp is unscrewed or removed or burned or broken or whatever. This is make it. This is gonna make it an open circuit. Open circuit means there will be no electricity flowing through this circuit. So in series connection, if only one lamp is burned or unscrewed or removed or broken or whatever, the electric current doesn't flow through this circuit at all. Okay. 
that this is very important. Please study this point. In series connection, by increasing the number of connected light bulbs, the lighting decreases. And also, if only one bulb is removed or burned or unscrewed from the circuit, the electric current doesn't flow. Now, let's see what happens in parallel connection. Okay, it's exactly the opposite to the series connection. Let's read first together. In parallel connection, by increasing the number of the connected light bulbs, the lighting or the light intensity of the bulbs remains as it is. This means in the light strength or light intensity doesn't change, okay? Why? We have said that in parallel connection, each lamp has its own branch and its own route. So this means that electricity is not divided by the number of lamps, okay? Why? Each route has its own electric current that is not affected by the other branches. So that's why no matter how many lamps do you have in the circuit, the electricity remains the same. When the electricity is the same, this means that the light intensity will be the same. It remains as it is and it doesn't change. Okay? By increasing the number of connected lamps in parallel connection, the lighting or the light intensity of the bulbs remains as it is and doesn't change. Now let's read the next note. In parallel connection, the electric current has many paths or branching routes. Okay, we agreed, halos. So when a path of these is cut or broken, the current continue or the electricity continue passing through other path or routes. So this means the electric current flows normally. Okay, you have a... It's the opposite to the series. If any branch is cut or broken or any lamp is unscrewed, what will happen to the electric current? It will still flow. Okay? The opposite to the series connection. Now, let's talk about some life applications on what we have just said. What's meant by life applications in the beginning? This means applying our scientific ideas that we have just explained in our daily lives, okay? Let's read together. Decorative lamps used in occasions, celebrations, weddings, and malls are connected in parallel. Why? To ensure or to make sure that if one lamp is burned or broken, the others don't turn off. Of course, this makes sense. How? Imagine with me if this lamps in this occasion are connected in series, what will happen if only one lamp is broken or cut or unscrewed or whatever? The whole occasion will be ruined, okay? The light will turn off. But if it's connected in parallel, no matter how many lamps are broken, the others will not turn off, okay? The other life application has the same idea of the first. All lamps and machines in houses are connected in parallel to avoid turning off the rest of the lamps when one lamp is turned off or broken. Okay, let's read it one more time. All lamps and machines in houses are connected in parallel. Why? To avoid turning off the rest of the lamps when one lamp is turned off or broken. It's the same idea as the first life application. Okay, by this we have finished this lesson, خلاص. I'm going to make a revision on it next time and we are going to take new parts. Just study this part, please. And if you have any questions, send it to me on Class Dojo. Don't hesitate. Thank you so much and best of luck.